you're on Rescue TV, I am so excited to welcome Mr. Roland Murray Hello. to Australia for the first time. My first time in the country, yeah. And you're here as a guest judge for the Asia Pacific region for the Walmart Prize. Yes. I'm glad that we were able to bring you to our shores. Thank you. Before the galaxy, there yeah. was the man. And after the galaxy, there was a revolution. Oh. <laughs> Tell us about the man and the the journey to the galaxy. Mm, I'm a son of a butcher. My, my dad uh, really wanted me to to take over him, and uh, I realized really early how clothes can trap you or free you of situation. And uh, as much I hated uh, to work with my dad at the time. I loved the white apron and uh, I loved to fold it on myself and that was the starting point of my career. So you would drape your apron? Yes. And uh, I start as a designer to drape squares of fabric on female form. And uh, it was a way of creating my own technique. I've never been to school to do it and or to, or to learn it. And uh, I create that technique would became slowly that that thing which was like to create the galaxy dress and uh, and and you famously went into design later in life I was 36 when I started yeah, yeah. so this is there's hope for everyone out there but the moment, like, I, the moment I didn't go to school uh, I used life as a training and it took me years to learn <laughs> but but you were in the industry kind of, you yes, on the I periphery was, I, was, the I was, I was a model, I was a stylist, I worked in art direction in, in, in different magazines, but never tried to be a fashion designer. It's when at the age of 36 I realized if I didn't try, I will miss, I will miss a future, I will miss something that I believe in. And what was your first foray? Tell us about that, that moment in the studio, tell us about the back catalogue. Oh, uh, it, it was really funny because I start to drape and, 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 and every, every uh, uh, limitation becomes strength for me. That's mean I didn't know how to make a trouser, that's mean I decided to make dresses. I didn't know how But now you're doing menswear. Uh, no, even trousers for women. I didn't ah. know how to, <laughs> how to make it. I didn't know how to make a jacket, you know. All these things that, that, that were a restriction pushed me in a direction. That, and and uh, I made dresses and, and uh, I start to use uh, had pins because I didn't know how to put a zip. I used wool, but I didn't know how to put a lining. That's mean my dress were really, really glamorous, but really itchy. And <laughs> everything that a young designer have to do, I did it. But but I, I was saved by by I think again by my father, the fact that I learned from him to deliver a service and and my work as much as I, I must be creative as a designer is to deliver a service. And the day I designed the Galaxy, it was the, the first service I thought is how to make a dress for a woman who wear a bra. Which is the worst thing for a designer, is thinking that a woman has to wear a bra. And, and I turned it to, to, to his strength and, and I designed that dress and that was the starting. And the, who was the, the first woman or celebrity that brought the Galaxy dress into the consciousness Demi of... Moore. Yes. That was Demi Moore, the first one to, to, to be in that dress, it was Demi Moore. But it was really funny because it went from different size, different attitudes. Like Beyonce I, wore it, yeah, so many different yeah. shapes, I, I remember. And you put all the picture one next to the other one, you don't recognize the size. The size mm. is irrelevant. And I think that was the, the beauty of that dress is size was irrelevant. It was about that that universal female form. And I was so pleased to, to, to capture something which I thought was really relevant for me and, and, and something I wanted to develop for the future. The secret of the galaxy was your use of technology and your understanding of the female form but married with the science yeah. of new fabrics. So, you know, the, the power mesh that you used really, in, you know, formed that statuesque, that goddess shape. And now you're working so much with wool. So yeah. again, you're using the fabric as a, as a really conscious part of your design. Can you yeah. tell us about your love of wool? Wool uh, as a unique character, wool is really close to skin. It warm up and 
cool down like skin mm -hmm. and he shape himself and and he can stretch a, a, and go back to his shape and uh, and the beauty of wool is a, f from the way you build up an outfit it gave so much more quality to the outfit it, it gave so much uh finishing beauty of finishing it, it, it's quite unique it's compared to other other, other texture wool as that quality to look 10 times big better than the, 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 the other fabric. And so you've created a capsule collection exclusively for Australia, for Maya. Yes, yeah. So this is quite an honor for Australians. It's quite exciting. Do you have me. a favorite dress? I, I know which one I like, but what's your favorite dress? <laughs> the one you like. <laughs> <laughs> and did no. you, were you at the shoot and you shot with Nicole, Nicole Warren? I was, I was there on the fitting, I wasn't there on the shoot because I was traveling, but I will, I've, my creative director and I, we, we have a, a strong vision how we, we like to photograph the dress because the dress are, are quite glamorous, but I see them as uniform. I see them as the best friend you should have in your wardrobe. I agree. <laughs> and, and I like the picture to be all the time. However, the complexity of the picture, there is a sense of natural attitude, what a woman is. And for me, a woman is not just a romantic, thing will love flowers and bows there is a sense of of contradiction and but happiness I, I really enjoy to dress women that love to be women that's my my big motto in in my work so with the Walmart prize you are in the long line of extremely important judges yeah. um, is there someone who has influenced you you know you entered design late um, is there somebody that you have enjoyed working with and or have been mentored by? My my two mentors from from the from the years I was in Paris were Asdina Laya and Yoji Yamamoto, and I loved really the the contradiction, but the strong resemblance. You know, Yoji for this for a sense of uniform and and structure and, and deconstruct and as in for a sense of, of femininity. S femininity, sensuality, but at the same time uh, reconstructing and deconstructing the outfit. And, and in my mind, if the two of them were mixed or blend, I was, I was the, the child of that mixture. The love child of or the bastard. <laughs> I call it the bastard. The bastard <laughs> and and that was my starting point. And I started to drape because I had no technique. I started to drape on a dummy. And at the beginning, the amount of dress I, I did that looked so much like Yoji or Asdin. I was like, it's great, but it's not me. And I was throwing, throwing them away until the first dress. And I was like, OK, now it's me. And the pleasure of that moment to define yourself mm -hmm. is, is amazing. And who are you looking for? Uh, what are you looking for then as you judge in this region? Are you looking for that expression of uniqueness and of the designer's own uh, imprint? Uh, yeah, that, that sense of personality, that strength, that strength of, of honesty. I think, I think it's quite important to, especially in a world where we are so many of us, that a young designer it has to be about him or her. It's not about someone else. It's not uh, trying to be someone that, that they love and they try to, 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 to emulate the, the, their work. And I'm waiting for that, that little flame on the side and, and to realize that uh, if that flame is, is bigger than, than the ego. Very nice. And what's next for you, for your Exciting career. You, you said um, you've got a very fun project coming up in France. Yes, yes. After after one week in Australia, which is going to be damaging my, my jet lag. Um, project Runway in France, first series where um, I will judge. I feel like it's going to be really serious in France. Uh, I okay. hope. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. It's France. Uh, opening a store in New York on Madison. Wonderful. And uh, a collaboration with the Banana Republic starting 4th of August. Get ready, girls. But first, yes. the Maya Capsule Collection. The Maya Capsule Collection. And we look forward to seeing who you anoint as 
the winner of the Australasian area for I'm the I'm so Walmart excited Center. for that, yeah. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. For oh, it's a time. pleasure It's, to it's meet a personal you. pleasure. And on behalf of women around the world, we thank you for Power Mesh. We thank you for the galaxy. And we thank you for all of uh, your love for the female form. It's a pleasure to wear your clothes. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, fashion is like playing tennis. I send the ball and... And when a woman sends back the ball to me, I can carry on to play. And that's the best thing you could say because I still want to do dresses. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>